Hi, welcome back to my water wheel project. Last time I installed beams on the wheel support walls and dry fit the flume channel. Next, I marked the level of the water on poles using a laser level I borrowed from a neighbour. This allowed me to accurately set the flume height, giving a constant slope. To stop the wooden uprights rotting where they touch the ground, I wanted to put them on large stones. So it's back to the stone pile and more cement mixing. I got a bit more than I bargained for when trying to build on top of this old wall. Next I drilled a hole in each of the stones so I could drive in threaded rods to keep the flume uprights in position. After taking a few measurements, I cut up 3x2s for the uprights and horizontals of the scaffold that will hold up the channel. Holes are drilled into the ends of the uprights for the threaded rods. The first support doesn't need any uprights as it rests directly on the existing walls. As each foundation point is at an unknown height, I put up the scaffold temporarily with some help to mark the position of the joints. Once it is up, it is much easier to square and level everything. Then the whole thing is disassembled so the joints can be cut and the scaffold frames assembled. I painted the bottoms and slanted and covered the tops with aluminium to help stop water being absorbed by the end grain and hopefully increase the longevity of the scaffold. Short braces were cut to stop the frame from racking and then the scaffold could be reassembled in position. Again, help was very much appreciated. And that's all for now. I'll finish the flume in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and subscribe if you want to see the rest of the project. Thanks for watching.